Hi, and welcome to Drawing with Steffi. Uh, as usual, uh, we're going to be drawing some fun stuff. We're going to do a tiger today. And if you'd like to see more of my art, you can check it out at my DeviantArt gallery, which is lady-cybercat.deviantart.com. Uh, the program I'm going to be using today is called Paint Tool Sci. Uh, but you totally don't have to use a digital program when you are drawing. I'm just going to be using it because it makes it a lot easier for folks to see what I'm doing. Um, when you're drawing something new and you're not so familiar with it, it's a really great idea to have reference. Um, today we're doing a tiger, so I've got some images here that I found off the internet of photos of tigers. Um, when you use photos, you want to be real careful. Um, you want to make sure they're either royalty free and if they're not, uh, you don't want to draw directly from them. Uh, because these aren't particularly royalty free uh, or stock photos, uh, we're going to use it just as reference and we're not going to draw directly from any of them. We're just going to use them so you get an idea of what the shapes are and the characteristics of the tiger. Because um, you want to make sure that you don't get in trouble. Or, you know, because no one likes it when they, they take a photo and then they suddenly see their picture somewhere else. Alright, so let's get started here. And now when you're drawing you want to sketch really lightly. Um, and again, I'm using this program just because it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. Um, I really recommend Paint Tool Sci. It's a great program. Uh, drawing digitally does require you to have a tablet of some sort. Um, I have an Intuos 5. I find that the Wacom products are really awesome. They have uh, really great uh, sensitivity. But you don't have to use digital. A piece of paper is good. Uh, just make sure you have a really good eraser and uh, draw lightly. So what we're going to do first is start out with a circle. And I like to draw a little uh, kind of a cross in the middle so that helps me decide which way the, uh, the face is going to point. Now I'm drawing really dark, but that's just so you guys can see it. Uh, I don't recommend drawing quite so uh, dark if you're doing it on a piece of paper, because uh, it makes it hard to erase. Um, and if you look at the picture of the tiger here, you'll see that they kind of have a, a circular spot in the center of their forehead. So I'm going to draw a circle here. And that's going to give me a good idea on how far I need to put the eyes. And then I'm going to kind of figure out where I want the muzzle. And we're going to kind of do a, a three-fourths view here. So when you're drawing, you know, it's okay to make corrections as you work. Uh, you don't have to have it perfect the very first time you start putting your pencil down. And they kind of have cheekbones, so I'm going to put some cheekbones there. I'm going to do a little bit of the side of the, the jawline. Then I'm going to do some kind of upside-down L's to sort of make the the eyes. And right now we're not worried too much about how detailed or how exact it all looks. We want to just get an idea of where everything needs to be. Um, I like drawing in shapes rather than drawing the outline. There's nothing wrong with doing it that way. This is just the way I find uh, doing it is easier. Alrighty, and then they kind of have a line at the center of their forehead. And their faces are kind of blocky, so I'm just kind of making the shapes. Alright, and then we're going to add in some ears again. Not worried too much about the actual shape. We just want to get the position in there. Then we're going to add a little bit of the cheek rough. Again, just kind of shaping it in. Not too worried about the actual shape of it. And a little bit of the back of the head and the neck. Uh, we're not going to draw the whole thing, just the, just the face today. I'm going to figure out about how thick the nose needs to be. Um, tigers and lions and cats in general all have different characteristics, so it's really good to have reference um, to kind of help you make sure that you're getting those characteristics right. Um, lions and tigers have a lot of similarities, but they, they do have a lot of differences, like the shape of the nose and how thick uh, the muzzle is. And especially the chin. Um, lions and tigers have very different chins. Uh, tigers have kind of a long, long, broad chin, um, rather than it having, you know, really far down. It goes kind of horizontal. 
I'm going to add in a little bit of the, the side of the face there, a little bit of the jawline. I'm going to make the, the cheek rough a little bit bigger, top of the head a little bit bigger. This is again why you want to draw really lightly when you're sketching on paper. But that's the nice thing about digital, it's really easy to make corrections. Make the ears a little bit taller. You know, just look back and forth between your what you're drawing and the reference to make sure that you're getting everything in about the right position. I'm going to draw in the back of the head a little bit more. Uh, one of the other things you can do is, uh, if you're drawing along, um, is to use a light table. Um, if you don't have a light table, what you can do is just use a, um, a glass door or window that has some light coming in from the other side. Um, that can be real helpful. Like if you really like your drawing and you kind of messed up, but you don't want to um, start over from scratch, you know, put another piece of paper on top. There's all different sorts of nifty things you can do. I'm just going to add in just a few more details here and there on the ears and the eyes. Draw in the little patch. I'm going to flip it over. Um, that way I can see where some of the errors are. This is a trick artists have been doing for centuries. Flipping it over uh, makes it easier to tell what needs to be fixed and changed. Uh, sometimes you can't see it when it's all from just the same direction all the time. Um, I'm going to lighten this and because I'm doing this digitally I'm just going to make a new uh, layer on top and do some different colors to help me figure out where my new lines are going to be. I'm going to fix the eyes a little bit. They're a little bit too close together. And this time when I'm sketching I'm going to be a little bit more careful about the shapes. I'm starting to refine it to instead of just worrying about placement I want to make sure that the shapes are exactly the way I want them to be. Uh, we're not going to ink this today, we're just going to sketch it. Um, so I'm not going to be too detailed with my lines. And I'm going to make that circle. And add in some details on where the bridge of the nose starts. I'll zoom in a little bit here. And you want to look at how the nose looks like and look at your reference. Um, tiger noses have a, their own unique shape. They kind of are thin at the the very bottom and they kind of curve inwards. Cat noses and dog noses are definitely different looking. All right, I'm going to draw in the mouth here. I'm going to draw in the side of the muzzle. Mm, that looks a little too bear-like, so I'm going to come in and make it a little bit thinner. And, you know, that's the nice thing about drawing lightly or drawing digitally. It's, it's a little bit easier to fix things on the fly. Draw in the bit of the lip. Thin that out a little bit. Wanted to look like a tiger, not like a bear. Sometimes you're going to mess up. That's okay. You just, you know, keep going. Don't give up. Keep sketching until it looks right. I'm going to put in the cheekbones here. And then add in a little bit of the side of the face and the jawline. And I'm just going to do that real lightly because most of the fluff is going to come in the way here. Do the top of the head. Tigers have a really big neck, so you can kind of see their neck coming from the top of their head. And draw in some of the kind of the eyebrow markings, and the under eye markings. You know, just look back and forth between your reference and what you're doing. Make sure you're getting everything right. You can add in some of the rough that's at the top of the head and then the side rough. You don't want to do too many um, pokes of fur because otherwise it'll end up looking busy. Sometimes less is more. This is going to be semi toony Make 
I want this to be fairly fast. YouTube videos are best when they're they're kind of on the short side. Also, if you guys have questions about why I'm doing something a certain way and you know not doing things a certain way, you know, please feel free to email me or you can leave a message for me on DeviantArt or here on YouTube. I'm always happy to answer questions and add in some pupils. Tigers have round pupils, not slits. I'm gonna put in some um, highlights and a little bit of shade to make the eyes pop a little bit more. Gonna do the the whisker lines. Again, I'm doing this kind of simplified. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing each individual dot. There we go. I'm going to come in here and finish the ear. They have kind of a little indention on the side. I'm going to add in some ear fluff. I'm going to add a little bit more detail to the general shape. And again, I'm, I'm being very sketchy because I just want this to be a rough drawing. Uh, what I usually do is uh, draw it rough and then I refine it by going over it a couple times. Um, this is also the nice thing about digital is, you know, if you mess up, it's easy to fix. So I'm going to just move the ear here over a little bit because it's a little bit too close. Their ears are a little bit off to the sides instead of just right on the top of their heads. We're almost done. Woohoo! Add a little bit more head rough. And add in that ear fluff. Add in some more of the chin. All right. I'm gonna take away the uh, the underdrawing. I'm gonna flip it around again. That still looks a little off, so I'm gonna do a little bit more editing here. I think I'm gonna make turn the eye a little bit further. Animal eyes tend to be a little set a little bit further apart than people faces. So then another nice thing about digital is it's easy to fix. There we go. That looks a bit better. And fix the nose a little bit. And add a, make it a little bit broader. There we go. And add a little bit more detail to the eyes there. To this muzzle and the lips. And you know, you just work around it until you find things you don't, you're not quite happy with and just feel free to edit as needed. Add a little bit more detail, a little bit more refinement. Add a little bit more to the cheekbones, make them a little bit more obvious there. There we go. Just about done. A little bit of the, the neck there. We're just not going to draw the whole thing. There just isn't time. Alrighty, um, what we're going to do next is add in some of the stripes. Um, I'm going to make another layer um, and then I'm going to um, use a different color that's lighter. Uh, tiger stripes are all very individualistic. Um, every tiger stripes are unique. Um, they do tend to mirror each other, so I'm going to use a lighter color blue here on a new layer and I'm going to sketch out kind of the design I want. Um, just look at your reference to see kind of how the, the stripe patterns tend to go. They like to start kind of in the center and then branch out along the forehead. Sometimes there's uh, stripes coming off of the eyes uh, that go into the white area. Sometimes they don't. Every tiger's different. Uh, but again, you want to draw real lightly or, you know, use another layer. Uh, that way, if you're not happy with what you did, you can easily erase it. I'm going to add some stripes along the side here. And then I'm going to mirror them on the other side. They're not always exactly the same on each side, but fairly close. I'm going to put a little V shape over here. And then I'm going to um, make the this layer that I've drawn the stripes on. I'm going to reduce the opacity and come on top with another layer. And come in with a dark color again so I can more easily see the stripes. I'm just going to do the outline and then I'm going to color them in uh, to make it a little bit more bold and easily seen. This time I'm going to watch the shape of it a little bit better. Make it not quite so sketchy. And 
And if you guys have uh, requests for other critters you'd like to see me do or other subject matters, uh, please do not hesitate to ask. You can email me at cybercatgraphics.com. I'm sorry, Cybercat I can't talk today. Cybercatgraphics at yahoo.com. I do have a website at cybercatgraphics.com. Um, there's some nifty stuff there. But I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you'd like to see me do in the future. I'm going to color in some of these stripes in just a moment. There we go. I'll put in some links in the description uh, for the video so you can check out Paint Tool Sci if you've got questions about that. It's a really wonderful drawing program. But you can do this with like GIMP or Photoshop, pretty much any digital editing software. I'm going to color in some of the ears because their ears tend to be dark. They have a little white spot on the back, but you can't see that from this position. a little bit more detail in here and there. And we are just about done. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to draw tigers. Um, I'm always happy to answer questions. And I look forward to hearing from you. I hope you've enjoyed this and it has helped you on how to sketch your own tiger. And there we go. Just going to add a little bit more detail here and there. And we're just about done. And I hope to see you next time with Drawing with Stephanie. Have a great time. See you next time. Bye bye.